يا ايها الذين امنوا ان جاءكم فاسق بنبا فتبينوا ان تصيبوا قوما بجهاله فتصبحوا على ما فعلتم نادمين what they say this second verses of the holy quran we say is seven probably whatever we able to do today and then inshallah we will continue for another khutbah this one saying all you who have believed if the corrupt person is if the kongosa if the bisabare person in your community bring any bad news for you oh my man you said now that may what you about today on ulan avenue he was talking about your family he was saying that he was saying that oh you said now this man was talking about your family this man was talking about your brother this one was talking about this you should, Allah has called that person fasting is a corrupt person this person is there to destroy the community the first thing as soon as he said that to you look at that person to say okay this is what this is one of the people Allah will refer to in in the khutbah today when this kind of corrupt person comes to you with news fatabayanu investigate it don't jump into conclusion and say okay oh what that's why he was talking about me okay today i'm going to see him they didn't you know, have a human nature so many people suffering for that mental problem when somebody says something behind your back their back somebody say oh they say this one behind your back in order for them to investigate to go far out they don't do that they will jump into conclusion when they see that person the person that was smiling away yesterday today when they see that person it will be as if they were in war They don't want to even speak to you. You will speak to somebody and they will come and hit their, their shoulder and pass by you. Because of what? Al-Fasik, the corrupt person, already manipulated and, and, and poisoned his mind. That's what happened. Maybe the person, even the same person you fighting, that person knows, knows anything about it. People do that. Some people will create, fabricate lies in order to spoil between brothers and sisters. And that's what Allah is saying here. For this, for this people, we are not able to not even. Then after you do all that, then later when the reality comes, when the truth comes to light, what will happen? You will be regretting. Oh, why should I do that? Why should I treat that man like that? I should, if I know, I, I want to investigate first. Or somebody come to you. Oh, my, my wife did this to me. My wife is evil. My wife did that. Tell the person, Wallahi, I heard, I heard your story. Inshallah, I will follow, I will talk to your husband. If the husband says, if the wife says, Oh, my husband doing this to me. And they come to you as an imam. Or as a you know, community leader. Tell the person, Okay, you know what? My sister, I will look into it and I will investigate. As try to hear the second party on a story. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that when people bring an issue to you, don't never you judge until you hear the other side of story. But unfortunately, we don't do that. When we hear a story, this person do this, they will just jump into conclusion. Oh yeah, this is that, that person. Oh, that person is this. Oh, that person is that. They will conclude and sometimes they will even make a judgment. That conclusion is, is on Islam. It's all unreligious. We're not supposed to do that. Please, it's not going to cost you nothing. Just calm that person down. Tell him, please calm down. Inshallah, I will look into the matter. Give him a chance. Give me a chance. I will look into the matter. Then later, I will return back to you. When you do that, then your judgment will be a real one. But if you, you know, if you make a judgment based on only one side of story, Wallahi, you will be wrong. You will run the next person. Uh, like I said, that uh, it would be very difficult for me to see all the, uh, you know, seven uh, something. And then uh, the third one, that is a huge one. That's that's what I really want to do. The time is now, my friend. What in poor in fatani min al muminin akatalo? I'm going to complete my puttiba today with this uh, the third one. When two parties in the in the community fight among themselves, Allah has said. For asli who bein a woman, do everything within your reach to make a peace between the two group of people. Oh, this group of people and this group of people, they are in the court. Oh, they are fighting. Oh, this other tribe is fighting this other tribe. Oh, this people in this community, they are fighting this community. You, it is become your responsibility as a community member. 
Don't sit down and say, oh, I sit down on the fence and say, oh, Dana my best, I don't, I don't even care. You make a big mistake. It is the responsibility of, of all of us, including myself here, for asking who pay no man, do everything possible to make a peace between these people. What, what Allah said at the end of this uh, the verse, for in Bakat Ihidahuma al Ukra, for Katinu that it tabri hata tafi aida mullah. If you all do, you know, like some communities, you know, uh, let me just use my community, like an area, there is a Muslim, what they call Muslim Matina. They, they made us, they, they work for this eye. They set a committee, reputable, you know, reliable people in the community. They set these community members that when there is a confusion in the community, be it between husband and wife or between the men, you know, this group and that group, this community will look into the matter. But if they see that this group is wrong, your job together, your friend are pressing because you, the, 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 I mean the community unanimously, the people that they choose, they already identify this person as a confusion maker. He is the one that causes all the trouble. Your job together and friend are pressing. In fact, what they do, they will tell you, to my sister, if you don't want to listen to our community. What we agree upon, this is it. This is our outcome. You can do whatever. If you want four now, one on your husband. If you want, take him to child support. If you want, do whatever you want to do. But guess what? In this community, what they do? Inshallah, if you have every baby shower, you have a wedding, you have anything, the whole entire community in this masjid, nobody going to step to your place. According to the Imam, this this strategy for the past two years now, it been working. That's what we need to do. Don't say because I'm cunning, so if any kind of person is wrong for I will not look at that person face and say, oh no, that my family person me, I can't put my money in that one. You make a big mistake. We're not supposed to do that. Oh, this person is coming from Susan Susu village. Here must come from the sea village. Then that means I don't want to offend him. You do that, you make a big mistake. Because guess what? You are in trouble with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the young man, Kiyama, when you stay in front of Allah, that person is not going to help you out. He is not going to help you out. And then you will be a sinner in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Having said that, we have come to the end of the